Well, good evening or afternoon. Maybe it's night where you are. It's the 27th of March, 2023. And I'm standing here in our kitchen, one of my favorite places. And uh, I thought I'd just say hello today, let you know that I'm still here, doing all right. And I hope you are too. And I know a lot of you are. Uh, I still read all the texts. I may not respond right away. Um, it's easy just to push the little heart thing and say, okay, I read it. But I like to talk back to you, you know. Um, I really do. And sometimes it's hard to find the words. You say them over and over so many times, you know. But... Uh, comes from my heart anyway whether it's uh, once or a hundred times I mean there's only so much you can say now, a lot of you have been watching this channel and watching me and others listening to others go through these terrible times of grief um, boy I want to thank you for hanging in there I, I am too. Sometimes it's it's tough, you know, it really is. Um, I've had my moments. This last month of uh, February was really extremely hard and difficult for me. There's a lot of dates there that uh, our anniversary, uh, the day she died, and there were some other dates and things going on there too that I had to deal with. But we all have that in, in one shape or form, one way or another. We all have those dates and times and moments where we have to deal with this grief. And it can get pretty pretty intense, can't it? <laughs> I know you know that. And, um, you know, it, it. I see your name pop up and it's a familiar name. It, 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 it makes me feel good to talk to you, you know, or at least listen to what you're saying and your comment and all that. It may even be brief, but it doesn't matter to me. Uh, some of you, you know, you're doing better than others and others, not so good. I know that. And I have my days where I don't do good. Uh, and sometimes there's a day where I do pretty good, and but there's a moment or two where I don't. I've learned how to adapt to this. As I've said before, you know, and uh, we do, we have to, we have to learn, we have to learn how to adapt. There's no other way around it, you know. God's going to help us. He's right there. And he has helped me. I can guarantee, to, guarantee you that. And, and probably you too. Um, I um, wanted to also say <clears throat> that... Uh, it's been a year and a month for me right now. <laughs> Man, alive, I just can't believe. Where did the time go? Um, spring's coming up pretty quick here. In fact, I think it is spring already, but sure wouldn't know it by looking outside. Could snow out here today, tonight. <laughs> Let it go. Been through this before. This is Michigan. Hey. Um, some of you still have snow and a lot of it, so, uh, there's a lot of adverse weather going on around the world and, uh, some places here, you know, like down south, have those tornadoes and all that and people are dying. That's horrible. I'll pray for them. Pray for their families. They lose everything. There's no guarantees in this world. You might be the best person in the world and, 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 you know, you follow all the rules and you do everything you're supposed to do. And yet you have a tragedy strike you where others, you know, they may be the most evil person in the world and yet they just continue to live on and those kind of things. Who can understand all that? But God has a reason and a purpose for everything under the sun. He must. I believe he does. He even has one for me. And I believe this is it right here for right now. Talking to you. Telling you about my faith. 
by faith in Jesus. Years ago, when I was just turning 17, on the steps of a church in Salem, Michigan, the church is no longer there. They tore it down and put up a little factory there. Salem Christian Fellowship was the name of it, a little white country church, not very big at all. But there, Pastor Bill Nottenkamper told me about Jesus. And on the steps of that church, as I was walking out the door, he put his hand in my shoulder and said, did you ask Jesus into your heart? I said, no. He said, would you like to? I said, yes. And I cried like a baby on the steps of that church in the fall. My life was never going to be the same any, anymore after that. Did I live a good holy life after that? No. At times I did. There was moments. I even moved in with the church. Some of the brothers there, we lived together in houses and went out and told people about Jesus and learned and, and studied the Bible and all that. But I eventually left that. A lot, of, a lot of things happened after that, and a lot of things I'm not very proud of, and I'm ashamed of. But God has forgiven me, and he continues to forgive me. I still struggle with sin. We all do, in some ways or form. But anyway, he's a forgiving God, and he does forgive, and he will forgive. I'm absolutely sure of that. I have no doubt about that, or my salvation, or where my wife is, or heaven. Or the Bible. And speaking of the Bible, this book right here, this is the one that a viewer sent me, a very special viewer. The Charles Stanley Life Principles Bible, New King James Version. You know, I, I could talk about the Bible all day long because there's so much in there, so much truth. And most of you know that, but I won't do that. This is not what this channel is about anyway. It's about grief. Um, the Bible says a lot about grief. Jesus suffered grief. So many others did too. David did for his sins and everything like that. We could get into that discussion and talk about that for ages. All the things that happened that are written down in the book. But I, I can't do that because I'm not a Bible student. And, and a lot of it I don't understand. So I, I stay away from that. I just share what I know, what I feel about my faith and my wife's faith, which was really strong. I miss her dearly, but I'll see her again. And... Uh, the reason I even made this video is just to touch base and say hello and to tell you a little bit about my faith, you know. And I have said a lot about that already, I believe, on some of the videos. I can't remember anymore. I've made so many of them, you know, and I forget, you know. One day I'll go back and look at them all again and maybe eliminate some and, you know, try not to repeat myself so much. But I guess it's not that big of a deal. Because there's always somebody new that's going to latch on to one of these videos. And maybe this one here. And you're, you're newly grieving. And, uh, and we who have been grieving for a while understand that. And our hearts and our sympathy and our prayers go out to you. And we know. We know what you're going through. Mostly. Some more than others. Boy. It is not going to be an easy journey for you or for any of us. And it takes years sometimes to get to a point where you're comfortable living again. I'm just barely at that point right now at a year and a month later. I'm starting to change. My attitudes and my acceptance is getting stronger of this, of, of being alone I'm not truly alone. I do have some friends, and I have Jesus in my heart. Um, I can't see him. You know, he's not physical. He's spiritual. He's in my heart. Can he take a human form? Well, he did. <laughs> Who can figure all that out, you know? But I believe it. 
Yes, without a doubt, I believe that. Do I have doubts? Occasionally. But I get through them. We're always going to have them, in one way or another. We could talk about that, too, for a long time. But we'll keep this short right now, and I just wanted to uh, share just a little bit with you. And and thank you, too, for your prayers and support. You know, and uh, I'm going to keep doing this again, like I said many times, for a while yet, until God tells me not, he doesn't want me to do it no more. And I don't know when that'll be, you know. Perhaps it'll be when I go back to work, because I plan on that. As soon as some issues are cleared up that I've been waiting and waiting on for over a year now. Um, and we'll, we'll talk more about that after the fact. And I'll let you know what's going on here. Plus, I want to share some stories with you, too, about my life and with my wife and the things we did and the fun times we had and some of the not so fun too okay and plus another thing too i i, I want to share music with you too okay and uh i, I want to share christian music with you and it, it, if some of you viewers have, have have told me about different videos that you love and I log on to them or, or latch on to them through YouTube and man, they're beautiful. I want to thank you for those. I didn't know about all these people that sang all these beautiful songs and things. It's awesome. Thank you so much for that. But I like to share some of the music that I'm dealing with too, or working with too. When I get, I'm waiting to buy another, a, a good guitar. Okay. And I'd play my piano, but one of the keys, when you hit it, it's a, one of the C chord keys. It it's it don't always register, and and it it I hate playing it because of that, so I don't. I might have to get another piano too, I guess. Anyway, I'll let this go now. And been talking on long enough. My coffee got cold here. Ooh. Yeah, I can reheat it, I guess. But uh, I'll stop this here, and did I say everything I wanted to say? I think I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, well, I believe that's it for now, and uh, we'll talk to you again real soon, okay? All right. Bye for now.